Yes, the next case. Certain pesticide is packed into bags by a machine and random sample of 10 bags is drawn. And their contents are found to weigh in kilograms as follows. 50, 49, 52, 44, 45, 48, 46, 45, 49 and 45. Test if the average packing can be taken to be 50 kilograms. Only say mu is readily available. We require to find out all other parameters. First of all, this is the case of single mean. Small sample, sample size is less than 3. So according to the authors of India, rather the approach taken by the authors of India, this is case of t-test. Other point of view, that is based on availability or knowledge about the population standard deviation. No knowledge about the population standard deviation is there. Hence, we have to use t-test. Yes, and sample size is also small sample. So, according to both the approaches, we require to use t-test. There should be no confusion. But how to? Just take the sample as variable x and find out mean, that means x bar as well as standard deviation or variance. The sample values are 50. 49, 52, 44, 45, 48, 46, 45, 49 and 45. First of all find out sigma x as well as x bar. Value. Double root 
population mean is 50 like that in alternative hypothesis we just require to test whether the machine is packing on an average for 50 kilograms or not so all the two sides are actually open the average packing by the machine is not because the paper setter is not clear about the direction of the hypothesis that means this is or rather this cannot be taken as one tail test
Yes, it is 47.3 that you are. So we have to take 4.7. Divided by square root of 0 0.7122. What is 439? 8439 means 844. So it is negative. Same way, T calculated 3.2, T critical 2.262. Yes, calculated value of test statistic is greater than the critical value, so we have to reject the null hypothesis. So, conclusion comes from the alternative hypothesis. That is, mu is not 50, that means the average packing by the machine is not 50 kilograms. In the same question, a different hypothesis can be asked. Can we conclude that the machine is defective? Because if the machine, say, the average size of packing of the machine is something different from 50 kilograms, and if the machine is set to pack 50 kilograms, then we can conclude that this machine is defective. It is not actually packing every time or most of the time 50. So another conclusion can be the machine is defective. Even the paper setter can turn this sum into a one tail test sum. The average size of packing by the machine is less than 50 kilograms. That type of alternative hypothesis can also be given in the same question. Can we conclude that the average size of packing by the machine is less than 50 kilograms? Yes, then HO of 50 kilograms is rejected. So the alternative hypothesis either can be the machine is defective or it can be the machine or rather average size of packing by the machine is less than 50 kilograms. That is also possible in the same question. Just we have to change the wordings of our alternative hypothesis accordingly as well as the conclusion. But if we change the alternative hypothesis accordingly and the null hypothesis is rejected, the conclusion is actually nothing, it is repetition, something like copy and paste of our alternative hypothesis, when HO is rejected here. If HO is not rejected here, then our conclusion is nothing, it is something like copy and paste of our uh, null hypothesis. So you can think about all these directions or dimensions in the same question. Yes, thank you.